Hello, folks. Marcel back with The Pulse. I've got some big stuff for you today. We're going to cover some heavy stuff. We're going to talk about the election. We're going to talk about its impacts on NMN, on the supplement industry, on people like David Sinclair, Metro Biotech, and the FDA. But make no mistake, this election is going to have ramifications. It's going to immediately, probably immediately, impact the outcome of the fight for NMN, the lawsuit against FDA. And I believe that they'll back down. I'm hearing that it's a very likely scenario that right after this election takes place, and if the right wins, okay, and again, we're bipartisan. 70% of Americans take supplements, take some form of supplements. It's a bipartisan issue, but we're not getting help from the current administration. We're not getting help from Kara Welch. We're not getting help from Janet Yellen. We're not getting help from these people. And that's HHS secretary, by the way. So I'm going to make some bold predictions here today. I'm going to, first of all, predict that Kara Welch will lose her job. Now, we talk about David Sinclair, and he talks about his friends at the FDA. And I personally believe from the way this has gone that Kara Welch is one of them. And he's going to see those friends lose their jobs. Matter of fact, if you're at the FDA and you're not updating your resume already, you need to be doing so. Because another bold prediction I'm going to make is wholesale changes, restructuring and restaffing of the FDA, under which falls under the HHS. And guess who's going to be in charge of HHS? There are many reports stating this is probably going to happen. I'm predicting it. I don't know for sure, but I'm hearing that it could happen, could very well happen, that RFK Jr. will be named Secretary of HHS. That means since FDA is an arm of HHS, the Secretary of HHS has direct authority to lead the FDA. Think about that. Think about his dissatisfaction with FDA. Think about how he has said on record when he dropped out of the race that the FDA was causing poor health of Americans. Of course he's going to be put in charge of it, I feel. And of course, he's going to make wholesale changes at FDA. And the current leadership's going to be out. It's time for new leadership. I mean, this is a government of the people, for the people, by the people. That's what this is supposed to be. And we're in a populist era. As I said, 70% of you take supplements. That's populism. Vitamins and supplements, natural ingredients are populism. They're populist by nature. Because most people take them. Most people want free and safe access to vitamins and supplements. And so, yes, I do believe these people are on their way out. And that is going to make David Sinclair and Metro Biotech huge losers in this election. Huge losers. I'm certain that they are scrambling right now. I'm certain of it. They have to be because they're going to need a new strategy. And Calling, picking up the phone and sending emails to their buddies at FDA is no longer going to work because those buddies are going to be gone. And guess who else is in trouble? Guess who else is going to see changes and going to be looked at? And they're going to have more oversight. Social media, YouTube. And I say this because I'm just connecting dots. When I went to Washington last year in May, that's when my channel immediately saw a reduction in its traffic. When they saw that over 100,000 people signed that petition that we were championing here, that we brought about, literally Dan Fabricant, who, by the way, I just interviewed recently, and uh, that just posted yesterday. So if you haven't seen that interview, he's the person. When he was at FDA under Obama, he hired Carol Welch. So when Dan Fabricant talks about supplements, yes, he's in charge of a large supplement trade organization, Natural Products Association. But he was the insider at FDA, and he hired the people that are there now, or many of them. And so believe him when he says that, yes, there are going to be changes at the FDA. There's got to be. And that Robert F. Kennedy looks positioned to become Secretary of HHS. But whoever it is, there's going to be change. Whoever becomes in charge, whoever gets the job to lead HHS and FDA is going, we're going to see changes. Now we've been fighting this fight for two years and, you know, we've held the status quo. Hinnaman is still available, as you know it. We fought tooth and nail for this. But 
several multi-billion dollar industries, companies, have removed Enamin. And that was from instruction, we believe, very clearly. And we're, if this lawsuit continues, we're going to find out through discovery and depositions. We're going to find out what was told by Metro Biotech to FDA and what FDA told Legit Script, potentially told YouTube, told Google, told Amazon, told Walmart, or at least through their arm of action, which is Legit Script, which is a database which has blackballed essentially NMN and channels like this that talk about NMN. And I've shared that many times. And do I want to see changes <laughs> the way I'm treated by YouTube? Absolutely. We went from millions of views to tens of thousands of views. That's what happened. And all we did was join a citizen petition and go to Washington. And that was enough. They'd seen enough. And they attacked us. So they started this fight. I didn't look for this fight. They started it. Now we're going to attempt to end it, or at least move forward, right, in a better direction for people who want to take vitamins and supplements and don't want to have them taken away at the whims of the pharmaceutical industry. We're tired of it. The pharmaceutical industry should not be in control of the FDA. They shouldn't be dictating what the FDA does. And this is what we're going to tell. And we're already talking to advisors of RFK Jr. when I say the industry. And he's talked about this. He's talked about him and the team behind Trump being advised by the same people. So what I think we're going to see are changes, as I said. I also believe David Sinclair is going to change his tune. He has to. Like he's gone silent. You know, it's no surprise. But he's clearly going to have to change his tune. He probably already sees what's going to happen. He's savvy enough. He's smart enough to see what's unfolding. And I think he just, as I said many times, I've stated, he chose the wrong side. It makes no sense. You create a multi-billion dollar industry, which he states NMN is $2.5 billion, and then you disown it. You run away from it. It made no sense. It made no sense then, and now it's playing out. It's all coming to roost. Bad decisions, bad business, bad choices. So what can you do to help? You know, I, I get this question a lot, and I really appreciate that you guys are wired that way. It's good. It's time. It's populism, as I said, and people want to be active. They want to practice some activism. You want to write letters. You want to do something, you know, because you support the arguments that I'm making, that Dan Fabricant's making. You support them, and I get it. So you can subscribe if you're not already to this channel. You can hit the notification bell. I know people say that. I don't say that very often. I kind of just hope you'll do it, but that doesn't always work. You need to subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're getting supplements, get them from DNA. Do not age. Use my code, The Pulse. We're both members of Natural Products Association now. We both support the lawsuit to the tune of thousands of dollars. For me, it was a much smaller investment, but Do Not Age is heavy into this. They've joined and they're in the fight. And it's appreciated. The MPA appreciates it. I appreciate it. And you can show your appreciation by supporting the companies that are supporting you in this industry and the availability. And to give you an idea, what did FDA try to do? They tried to lobby Congress to pass a bill, MPL, which was a database for supplements. Now, you'll hear from time to time about MPL, or you'll read about it in the news, and many of us don't know exactly what it is and what were the implications, ramifications of it had it passed. NMN would have been gone. Because it's in that limbo state, it would not have been on the database. Therefore, it wouldn't have been an illegal substance in the United States. And you think it's bad now? Imagine $2.5 billion around the world and zero in the U.S.? I mean, that's ludicrous, but it would have happened. And it was quite close. But fortunately, that effort was pushed back, was fought back. So you can pay attention. You can become a bit more politically active and you don't have to become, you'd be an independent like myself, right? You don't have to join one party or another. I, I wouldn't ask that of anyone anyway. This is not a political channel. However, they brought us into the political specter when it comes to supplements. We're going to lobby both sides. We're going to talk to both sides, but we need to push back on things that will hurt things like NAC and NMN, which are technically, and NAC would have been gone again because NAC is operating under this sort of allowance, right? Enforcement discretion, but it's not, it's still technically on a disapproved list or unapproved list. 
So it's kind of a gray area, even though it's on the store shelves. You know, it's back at Amazon. It's back at Walmart. It's everywhere safe supplements are sold. But, you know, had NPL passed, that would have been problems. So you can share this. You can share this with your friends. You can comment. Comments, likes, subscribes, these things matter. These things matter to the algorithm, even though we're being filtered. Even though they're slowing down our traffic, we won't hit 80,000 as we could in the first couple of years on a big video, but we can still hit 8,000, but only with your support, only with your shares, likes, comments, subscribes, etc. Support what we're trying to do here for you. And I, I'm going to keep beating the drum. I'm going to keep talking this up. Probably going to post even more often going into the election. We're going to watch this really closely. Going to watch and see how these predictions play out. And what are these people going to do? If these changes take place, what's Sinclair going to do? What's he going to come out and say? It'll be very interesting to see where people like Kara Welch go to work next. What are they going to do next? Some lobbyist group, pharmaceutical lobbyists. That'll be interesting to watch as well. And we'll keep an eye on that. And we'll report that to you as well. Thanks for watching. I'll be back real soon.